Now to the latest fallout from the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. The Justice Department and the Securities and Exchange Commission have now opened investigations looking into what caused the second largest bank failure in U.S. history. Two sources familiar with the matter telling NBC News both probes are in the early stages and will include a review of any stock sales by bank executives prior to the collapse. And the news comes as the Federal Reserve faces a tough decision. Continue raising interest rates to fight inflation or pause to assess that's the impact of the bank collapse on the broader economy. Lots to break down with NBC's business correspondent, Brian Chung. Good morning, Brian. Let's talk first about the, these investigations, uh, a, a DOJ investigation. That's a criminal investigation. Yes. SEC, that's a civil right. investigation. Early stages, but what's the implication of this? Yeah, well, it's all concerning some big stock sales that were done by executives at Silicon Valley Bank just weeks before uh, the institution ended up failing last Friday. So Greg Becker, who was the CEO of Silicon Valley Bank, selling 3.6 million dollars in stock about two weeks before the bank ultimately collapsed. For what's worth, those were pre-scheduled sales. However, we don't know the extent to which he was aware of situations at the bank at the time that he scheduled that stock sale. So again, senior law enforcement telling NBC that they're going to have this preliminary investigation into the nature of those sales, and that comes along a concurrent but separate investigation from the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, according to two sources to NBC. Well, let's talk about the Fed. Uh, obviously, it was widely expected and signaled by the Federal Reserve that once again, it would raise interest rates, trying to tamp down on inflation. Then this bank collapse happens. It's sort of giving pause to the Federal Reserve, and many think perhaps there will be a pause in the interest rate hikes or smaller interest rate hikes. What are the different levers here that the Federal Reserve is having to contend with? Yeah, well, the outlook for the economy was already really, really uncertain before those banks collapsed over the weekend. But prior to that, the story was pretty single-track-minded. For the Federal Reserve, which is to get inflation down. Americans are feeling this at the store. But to do that, they were raising interest rates to basically take steam out of this economy, make demand come down, make those prices come down. But the challenge is that one of the dominoes to fall that led to Silicon Valley Bank's collapse was higher interest rates. So if they raise interest rates too aggressively, that could break another bank, at least might be the concern inside the Federal Reserve. So as they go to their next meeting, which is next Wednesday, they might raise interest rates. They might go by less aggressively than the markets had expected, perhaps a quarter percentage point. But you have some Wall Street firms that are saying maybe they don't move at all. We'll have to see you next week. It just underscores what a fine line the Fed is a walking balancing, right now. Yes. And then just real quickly, I mean, there's always talk of a recession. Is that made more likely by what we've just seen with the bank collapse. Yeah, well, it certainly doesn't make it less likely after what we saw over the weekend. But again, for policymakers that are just watching it, this financial issue is now just another uh, thing clouding the outlook. All right, Brian Chung, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.